Hi, in this video, we'll be looking at ratios. Um, and we're going to be talking about what exactly a ratio is, how do we use them, why are they useful, and we're going to be looking at how to simplify them and write them. All right, so a ratio is, is a way to compare two quantities. So we're comparing two quantities by dividing them. And you might wonder, well, why would we need to do that? Why would we need to compare two quantities by dividing them? Well, think about a real world situation, for example. Let's say you go to the store and you see six apple sauces for $4. And then you see another sale of 10 apple sauces for $6. And you might think, well, I don't know which one is cheaper. I don't know which, which one is a better deal. Which one do I purchase? Well, that is what ratios are used to help you with. So we're going to be introduced to how we can make those comparisons and how ratios are super helpful in that way. All right, but before we do all of that, we're going to look at how to write a ratio. So we have, uh, let's say we're comparing boys to girls. Let's say in a family, there are two boys and three girls. How do we write the ratio of boys to girls? So we would write that there are two boys to three girls, two colon three, and that's how you write a ratio. But wonderfully, there are actually several ways to write a ratio. You can actually write it in words, and you could say two to three, or you can write it as a fraction, and you could say two to three, so two over three. Now, for this one, the last one that I just wrote, please keep in mind that even though it looks like a fraction, it's not two out of three, it's two to three, just like you see in the previous examples. All right, so that's how you write a ratio. Um, sometimes, however, ratios are not simplified. So let's say that in a class there are, let's say, okay, let's put that pen back on. Let's say there are 15 boys. So this is a different example here. In a class there are 15 boys and 10 girls. So what we just spoke about, the ratio could be written as 15 to 10, or 15 to 10, or 15 to 10. But we want to always make sure our ratio is as simplified as possible. And you simplify a ratio in exactly the same way that you simplify a fraction. You look for the greatest common factor or any common factor, as a matter of fact, um, but the greatest one will give you the less work. So we look for the greatest common factor of 15 and 10, um, and that should be five. And we go ahead and we divide both things by five. And we get that when you, you divide 15 by 5, you get 3. And when you divide 10 by 5, you get 2. So the ratio of boys to girls here, you would re, re, um, express in its simplified, most simplified manner. So the ratio of boys to girls is 3 to 2. Or you can write it as 3 to 2. Or you can write it as 3 over 2. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to write all of these versions but you should definitely be able to understand all of these versions when you see them. All right, so we're going to look at one more example. And in my last example, the, the, um, we're going to have units, different units, and we're going to talk about how to tackle it when you see a ratio, when you see different units. Okay, so in this example, I have a computer. My computer is nine inches wide and one foot long. So notice we have inches and we have feet, which are two separate units. Now, when we write a ratio, sure, we could probably get away with writing nine inches to one foot. And we could get away with that. It's not ideal, but we could get away with that because we do have the units there. So the units would be clear to any reader who wants to make that comparison or see that comparison. But if we want it in our simplest form, we first have to change the units so that they are all in the same units. Now you can decide, well, I like inches, or you can decide, well, I like feet. Um, my personal preference here is to convert everything over to inches. And since I know, side note, that one foot is equal to 12 inches, I'm gonna go ahead and multiply my one foot by 12. And so this turns into 12 inches. So this is now 12 inches, which is equivalent to a foot. So now we have the ratio 9 inches 
to 12 inches. Now, once it's in the same unit, there is no need to have the units anymore in your ratio. So we actually now have a ratio of 9 to 12. And so as we discussed in our previous example, in order to simplify this, you want to find the GCF, the greatest common factor. And so the biggest factor that can go into 9 as well as 12 is 3. So I'll go ahead and divide both numbers by 3. And on the left side, 9 divided by 3, we get 3, 2. And then on the right side, 12 divided by 3 gives us 4. We know it's the most simplified answer because there is no more common factor other than 1. And so it cannot be simplified any further. And that's the final answer.